regarding the oneness of Sakshi and Brahma. And there, the Pura Pakshi had two stands. First is, the Sakshi, which is separate from Jiva, itself is not there. And his second stand is that, even though we accept Sakshi, but Sakshi will still be many. And what is his logic behind that? So, the Pura Pakshi says that, the Antahkarna and its Dharma cannot be objectified by the Indriya or even the Vritti of the Antahkarna. And this will explain elaborately. And because this is the case, we have to accept some factor which will illuminate the Antahkarna. And that is Sakshi. And now, if Sakshi is one, then it would illuminate all the Dharmas of all Antahkarna simultaneously. But that is not our experience. Therefore, if even if we accept the existence of such a Sakshi, it should be many and not one. And therefore, Sakshi being many, it would not be one with Brahma, which is only one. And then, in the 57th Avarta, the Grantakara showed that this Antahkarna is not the object of Indriyas. And there are mainly two reasons were given. First is, the Indriyas objectify the crossified elements and their products. Whereas this Antahkarna is made up of uncrossified elements. And therefore the Indriyas cannot objectify the Antahkarna. In the second word, the Indriyas objectify something which is external. Whereas this Antakarna is interior and therefore also the Indriya cannot objectify the Antakarna. And when explaining this, the Gantakara had showed that the two Indriyas, Sakshu and uh, Tvag Indriya, objectify not only the Gunas but also the Ashraya of the Gunas, of the respective Gunas. Whereas the other three organs, Jivva, Grana, Shravana only objectify the Gunas and not the Gunashraya. And that the Tipanikara explained. The Tipanikara said that the Dravyam, the substance, which is the support of Rasa, Gandha, Shabda, becomes the object of only this eyes or the tactile organ and not of jivva etc. And that he explained with an example with regard to jivva. So he said that just like by the tongue only the quality in the form of sweetness is grasped. Whenever we have some experience of sweetness only the quality of sweetness is grasped by the tongue and not the ashraya of that sweetness. Example, the laddu is not grasped. Only the sweetness is grasped. And when that laddu is inside the mouth, that laddu is grasped only by tactile organ. Whereas the sweetness is grasped by the jivva. 
<coughs> or we can say that uh, since antarkrana vritti can object ekai something which is other than antarkrana which is sakshi like that slide do this yeah. and then for this uh, principle that was used here that the ashrita cannot objectify the ashraya the pura prakshi objects in the tippani and the pura prakshi says that just like the house which is covered by darkness that house is both the ashraya and the vishaya of darkness means the darkness is obtaining in the house so house is the ashraya and the darkness is veiling the house covering the house so how is also the vishaya so here uh, and he gives one more example or just like the chaitanyam which is one that is the ashraya and vishaya of adnyanam so chaitanyam is the ashraya of adnyanam so for this we see that adnyanam cannot have something jada as its ashraya it can only have something chetana and that is only chaitanya and also this adnyanam is veiling the nature of the self therefore it the object of this adnyana also is chaitanya so chaitanya is both the support and the object of adnyanam similarly why would not the antakarnam not be the object and the support of its own thought and for this the answer is given and here what is shown is that there is a vaishamya in the drishtanta and the dashtanta so the siddhanti says that if the ashrita and the ashraya are different then what you are saying can happen however in this case the ashrita and the ashraya are not different and therefore what you are saying will not apply here and that is said by saying that yatra means in whichever case like the house and darkness where the uh, ashraya and the ashrayi means the ashrita are different then one thing alone can both be the support and the object however in whichever case the ashraya and the ashrita are not different like in the case of this burning power and fire there one thing alone cannot be both the uh, ashraya and the vishaya and now in the next part we show that uh, here also in this uh, present context we have the situation that the ashraya and the ashrayi are not different and therefore what you are saying will not apply and it is said that prakriti in the present context also because of the non difference of the antakarna and its vritti the antakarna cannot become the object of its own thought however it will only be the ashraya and here someone can have the question that how do we say that the antakarna and its vritti are non separate so for that the answer is given that that is the case because the antakarna is the material cause for its vritti and the effect does not exist apart from the material cause so therefore the effect in the form of vritti is not separate from the material cause antakarnam <coughs> Immediately it is giving the hetu for ashraya matram bhavati. Why is only ashraya matram? Because antakarana or antakarana, <coughs> the forus bhavati, antakarana is upadana kanam. 
since upadana karana it is therefore it is ashraya matram bhavati hmm? and natu vishaya and then you can bring that rule because where ashraya and vishaya the ashraya and vishaya can be one only when there is death here it is not we can bring in that but immediately it refers to that ashraya okay then and then here it was shown that this antakarnam will not become the object of its own thought also and now in the 59th avarta it is shown that antakarna dharma ha na antakarna vrittehe vishaya ha the qualities of the mind are not the object of the thoughts of the mind and it is said that evam eva antakarna vrittihi svashraya antakarna shrita raga dvesha sukhadi dharman api na vishayi kartum shaknoti evam eva similarly and similarly means just like the antakarna vritti does not objectify the antakarna similarly the antakarna vritti is not capable to objectify what even the qualities such as raga liking dvesha disliking sukha happiness dukha sadness etc the quality which are supported by the antakarna which is the ashraya of oneself means which is the ashraya of the vritti so what is said is that the antakarna vritti cannot objectify those dharmas which are the uh, dependent on antakarna resting on the resting on antakarna and the antakarna which is one's own ashraya so when the vritti cannot objectify the ashraya itself then it cannot also objectify the dharmas of that particular ashraya and the granthakara gives the reason why na vishayi kartum shaknoti in the next slide and it is said that if the antakarna vritti would have objectified antakarna then it would have objectified the dharmas of the antakarna but since it does not objectify the antakarna itself therefore it cannot objectify even the dharmas and it is said that yadi antakarna vritti svashraya bhutam antakarna vishayi kurya tarhi tadashita tad dharma bhutan sukha dukha dinapi vishayi kurya if the antakarna vritti would objectify the antakarna which is in the form of the support of vantal then it would objectify the sukha dukha di dharma which are in the form of the qualities of that antakarna and which are supported by that antakarna and then it is said that however the vritti does not objectify antakarna itself it is said yatah antakarnam vishayi kurvana vritti na antakarna bimukha bhavati tasmad antakarna vat tad dharma ha cha na antakarna vritti he vishayi bhavanti so yatah since the vritti which is trying to objectify the antakarna does not turn towards the antakarna and to objectify the antakarna it has to turn but it does not turn it cannot turn it cannot turn tasmad therefore just like the antakarna does not become the object of the vritti similarly even the qualities of the antakarna do not become the qualities of the vritti and then it has been shown that the the antakarna 
and its dharmas cannot be objectified by its own prati. <clears throat> So here, Purva Bhakti, the object is showing that Sakshi is the one by whom the qualities of Antakrana are known. <clears throat> qualities of the mind are known. That is a fact. We, everybody knows Sukha is there, Dukha is there, pleasure, pain, <clears throat> likes, dislikes, all are known. And they cannot be known by Indriya. They cannot be known, known by Antakrana Vritti. But they are known. Therefore, there must be someone by whom all these Antakrana Dharmas are known. The qualities of the mind are known. And because of this situation, two situations, one is that Antakrana Dharmas are known, fact number one, and they cannot be known by the Indriyas, the organs, and the thought of the mind. Therefore, there is only one possibility that there is some entity, conscious entity, by which all of them are illumined. And that entity is Sakshi. So, Sakshi is the one, the witness. Consciousness is the one by whom pleasure, pain, etc. are known. And what are these pleasure and pain? They are the qualities of the mind. So pleasure, pain, etc. which are the qualities of the mind have to be known by Sakshi. <coughs> and if that Sakshi is one, only one, then what will happen? What will happen? It will be knowing all the qualities of all the minds. There will not be choice. I gave the example. If there is a central big light and if it is illumining the object down below, then not only that will be illumined, all will be illumined. We cannot restrict. So it will be illumined. If there is only one light and it is a very all pervasive light, miss huge light, it will be no, it will be illumined. And since it is not illumined, since our experience is not that one sakshi is illumining all the minds, all the qualities of the mind, therefore sakshi must be many. So sakshinaha anekatva bhave. If there is absence of the manyness of Sakshi, the experience we have will not be tenable. What experience? That even though the pleasure and pain of one mind are illumined, but the pleasure and pain of other minds are not simultaneously illumined or known by the Sakshi. Same Sakshi. Therefore, this at the Sakshi Anekatvam has to be there. If Sakshi Anekatvam is there, this type of situation will not be there. If Sakshi is only one, is not many, then one quality, the qualities of one mind are known, then the qualities of all the minds should be known. But that is not our experience. And therefore what? Therefore, there has to be many witnesses. Many Sakshis. That is what Prabhupada is saying. And before that, coming to that conclusion, he is giving one more reason. Why Antakkarana Vritti cannot objectify the Antakkarana Dharma. The qualities of the mind cannot be illumined by the thought of the mind itself. The thought has got some place. It's not without thought uh, these qualities of the mind will be illumined. We will see that. But thought itself on its own cannot objectify these qualities of the mind. One reason is it was given. One reason is what? That to objectify the qualities of the mind, the mind has to be objectified. 
आश्रय आवश्यक which is the support of the qualities of the mind is not objectified by antakarana vritti because antakarana vritti is supported and supported cannot illumine the support so antakarana vritti cannot illumine antakaranam and without objectifying antakaranam the qualities of antakaranam cannot be illumined therefore antakarana vritti cannot illumine the qualities of antakarana is it clear antakaranasya dharman antakarana vritti hi na vishayi kartum arhati na vishayi kartum shaknoti is it clear because of this reason two reasons one is that without objectifying the ashraya of the dharma this Ashrita dharma cannot be objectified. And ashraya of dharma happens to be the ashraya of vritti also. Therefore, vritti cannot objectify itself. Ashrita cannot objectify ashraya. And this antakkarana of the dharma have got the ashraya in the form of antakkarana. Therefore, antakkarana vritti cannot objectify antakkarana dharma. Okay. That is one reason given. But now he wants to give another reason. We are always satisfied with what one reason he gave. But he goes and he goes and he goes. So he gives one more. What? Asti chaya matra niyamaha. Atra. In this regard, asti chaya niyamaha. This niyama, this rule is there in this regard. Regarding objectifying, regarding knowing, there is one rule. What is that rule? Vritti hi hi लिटल बिट अवे फ्रॉम वॉट स्वाश्रयात फ्रॉम इट्स ओन सपोर्ट वृत्ति कैन ऑब्जेक्टिफाई समथिंग व्हिच इज समवॉट अवे फ्रॉम इट्स सपोर्ट न अतीव विप्रकृष्टम न अपि अत्यंतम सन्निकृष्टम वा वृत्ति कैन नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिफाई समथिंग व्हिच इज अतीव विप्रकृष्टम वेरी फार like from this mind something is very billions and billions of light years away some star is there now i was reading somewhere right now the the most distant thing we can see with the help of some device and uh, some calculations is 46.7 billion light billion light years i have a question about that but that is what i read 46.7 or 47.6 either way so 46 47 <laughs> that many billion light years away we have we have figured out but we don't say that is the edge of the universe okay it's not this much we have to see but right now with my mind my mind is away from this my mind can objectify something through the chakshur indriya and that object is away from me therefore what ativa viprakrishtam vritti na vishayi kuriyat if something is very far off from the ashraya of the vritti namely the mind then it will not objectify so na ativa viprakrishtam vastu vritti hi vishayi so antakarana vritti will not objectify something which is very far off from the mind and 
Also, it implies the organs which through which the mind works. Na api atyantam sanni krishtam va. That is also interesting. If it is something too close, then also vritti cannot objectify. Too far off cannot objectify. Too close cannot objectify. He gives the example. Yatha. For Sunni Krishna, he gives the example. Yatha nayana vritti svashraya samipastha swamipastham anjanadikam na vishayi karoti atyantam sanni krishnatva nayana vritti sight the chakshusha vritti the nayana vritti the vritti the thought the cognition which can take place based on the operation of the eyes that is called nayana vritti sight Swashraya samipastha samipastham anjanadikam. Anjanam means the calarium. You know what is called anjanam? That anjan lagadana? Calarium. <coughs> that calarium, the sight cannot vishayi karoti, cannot objectify. Therefore, if anjanam is very light, then you will not know that anjanam. कभी कभी अंजन ऐसे हो जाता है ना तो दूसरे लोग हमको बोलते हैं कि देखो आपका अंजन क्या हो गया वी विल नॉट नो सो इवन दो अंजनम इज वेरी अंजनम इज वेरी क्लोज बट इट इज टू क्लोज एंड देयरफॉर नयन वृत्ति अंजनादिकम न विषय करोति व्हाट टाइप ऑफ अंजन स्वाश्रय समीपस्थम दैट व्हिच इज ऑब्टेनिंग वेरी क्लोज टू वंस सपोर्ट नयन वृत्ति नयन वर्तते सो नयन वृत्ति स्वाश्रय मीन्स नयन समीपस्थ अंजनादिक न विषय करोति द साइट डस नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिफाई द अंजनादिक द ऑइंटमेंट एटसेट्रा और कलेरियम एटसेट्रा व्हिच इज ऑब्टेनिंग वेरी क्लोज टू द सपोर्ट ऑफ इटसेल्फ एंड स्व मीन्स व्हाट नयन नयन वृत्ति आश्रय इज चक्षु चक्षु समीपस्थ अंजन विषय न करते वाय अत्यंत सन्नी कृष्णत्वा बिकॉज इट इज टू क्लोज सन्नी कृष्ण मीन्स क्लोज बिकॉज इट इज टू क्लोज टू प्रॉक्सिमेट इनफैक्ट यू कैनॉट सी समथिंग वेरी फार ऑफ वेरी क्लोज थिंग ऑल्सो यू कैनॉट सी वेरी फार ऑफ ऑल्सो यू कैनॉट सी In Sankhya Karika, they have given one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reasons because of which knowledge can be obstructed. And in that, first two reasons are this: ati durat samipyat. If something is very far off, ati durat or samipyat. Then they have given. third reason also indriya ghatat if some organs are affected injured like eyes ears etc injured then also cannot be seen then another one is manonavasthana mind has gone somewhere else kabhi kabhi hota hai na this you are talking to your friend or uh, you know brother etc and uh, his mind is somewhere else so he will not have what he will say <laughs> one, I think I told you that one lady in Bangalore, she had she had this problem. Her husband, when she is talking to him, that that time he will be seeing SMS and all. So I, one day she asked, "What did I say? Tell me the summary." <laughs> Because in our class we used to say summary, you no? Know? So she had summary. So she, yeah. but that time one word for her husband must have stopped doing that. So mana ha anavas thana. If mind is somewhere else. Then also one cannot know. Sokshmiyat. If something is very very small, like Paramanu, and Devadhana, something is intervened, like wall. See now wall is there, so behind this wall, the chappal is there. I cannot see. Devadhana. Abhibhava. Something is overpowered. Then also it cannot be seen. 
like the stars are overpowered by the sun so cannot be seen samana bhi haracha when things are mixed up he gives the tikakara gives the example that he said the rain water the drops are falling in the in the pond now you can, if you want to separate all the drops the drop which fell at 627 the drop fell at 628 suppose you want to separate you cannot so you cannot know the drop separately why samana samana viharacha mixing up all right so these are the reasons of course for us the here relevant is more relevant is samipya so here this purupakshi is telling it is something is very close to the ashraya then also it cannot be known and tatha antakarna vritti hi api swashraya antakarna gatan sukha dukha din atyanta sannihitan dharman na vishayi kuryat similarly just as the nayana vritti cannot objectify the anjanadikam similarly antakarna vritti also would not objectify the dharmas what dharmas sukha dukha di pleasure pain etc which are swashraya antakarna gata which are obtaining in the antakarna which is the ashraya of pansa antakarna vritti swami santakarna vritti so antakarna vritti cannot objectify the qualities such as pleasure pain etc which are obtaining in the antakarna which is its own sapu and why sannihita atyanta sannihita hetu garbha vishesha because they are very proximate so this is one more reason why antakarna vritti cannot objectify the sukha dukha because the sukha dukhas are very very proximate to the antakarna which is the ashraya pansa All right. So, finally, what do you want to say? Itham antakarna tad dharma shya na indriyana antakarna rutte heshya vishayi bhavanti. That is the conclusion now. Itham thus in this banner. In this banner means in two classes what we are studying. In this banner, the what is given in this fifty, fifty seven, fifty eight, and fifty nine so far. In this pattern, antakarana tad dharmaanshya na indriya indriyana antakarana vritte hecha vishayi bhavanti tad dharma hacha no dharmaanshya is not dharma hacha prathmaya bhavacha the mind and its qualities na vishayi bhavanti they do not become the object for what indriyana for the organs and antakarana vritti kintu केवल साक्षिणा ते विषयी क्रियंते बट दे आर ऑब्जेक्टिफाइड बाय ओनली साक्षी इति ही वेदांत सिद्धांत दैट इज द वेदांत सिद्धांत वी डू एक्सेप्ट दिस इवन दो इट इज पूर्व पक्षी टेलिंग बट वी डू एक्सेप्ट दैट थॉट्स इन योर माइंड आर इल्यूमिन बाय साक्षी यस बट साक्षी डज नॉट मीन देयर इज नो वृत्ति एटसेट्रा or indriya vyapar is not at all required that is not the idea but other things are not becoming the pramanam sakshi alone is illuminating so without uh, this pramana vyapara something is known and that is called sakshi bhasya like sukha dukha they are known by sakshi all right so that is a good thing you are telling something what we also say then what is the problem now he says aneka sakshinam sakshinam ekena brahmana ekya sambhavah there is impossibility asambhavah impossibility of aneka sakshinam many sakshis are there so many sakshi will not have the is ekyam manas there is impossibility of manas of Many sakshi with what? Ekena Brahmana with one Brahman. Many sakshi 
कैनॉट हैव वननेस विथ ब्रह्मा व्हिच इज वन सो बोथ है तो गर्भ विशेष अनेक साक्षिणाम सो अनेकत्वा एंड एकेन ब्रह्मणा बाय वन ब्रह्म many sakshi will not have oneness with one brahma why one is one other are many so lakshana bhedat lakshya bheda so that is said here asambhavah evam cha and thus antakarana tad dharmanam kevala sakshi vedyatva mate sakshinah ekatvangi karah na yujyate eva he says antakarana and its qualities केवल साक्षी वेद्यत्व मते इन द व्यू दैट द माइंड एंड द क्वालिटीज ऑफ द माइंड आर नोन ओनली बाय साक्षी इन दिस व्यू साक्षिनः एकत्वांगी कारः एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ वननेस ऑफ साक्षी मींस साक्षी इज ओनली वन अंगी कारः द टाइप ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस न युज्यते एव डेफिनेटली विल नॉट बी टेनेबल इट विल नॉट बी tenable indeed definitely it will not be tenable means all qualities of the mind are known by sakshi and that sakshi is one that is not acceptable if sakshi knows the antakarana dharma then sakshi cannot be one why he says purva meva pradarshita ritya ekena sakshina yada ekantakarana sta sukha dukha daya vishayi kriyante तदा सर्वान्तकरण गुख दुखादयी क्रिय when by one sakshi all the sukha dukha di of one antakarana one mind are objectified tada then sarvantakarana gata sukha dukha sukha dukha dehe api vishayi karana pattehe anivaryatva so if the qualities of one mind are objectified by sakshi then the sukha dukha di pleasure and pain of all the antakaranas vishayikaranam objectification objectification of the qualities such as sukha dukha di which are obtaining in the all antakaranas that vishayikarana apatti hi attainment of the objectification anivaryatva is unavoidable inevitable you cannot avoid सिंपल लॉजिक इज सुख दुखा दी कैन बी नोन बाय साक्षी एलो एंड साक्षी इज वन देर फॉर वट ऑल शुड बी इल्यूमिन बाय साक्षी ओनली वन बल्ब इज देर एंड ऑल आर इल्यूमिन बाय द बल्ब एट दी वन बल्ब इज देर एंड इल्यूमिनेशन इज ओनली बाय द बल्ब देर फॉर ऑल एफ देम शुड बी इल्यूमिन बाय वन बल्ब there is only one bulb an illumination by only by only the bulb then one bulb should illumine all the things in the room similarly if sukha dukha di can be illumined by only sakshi and sakshi if it is one then all the sukha dukha di of all antakarana should be illumined by one sakshi so what will be our experience that i know my sukha dukha di i know my and sukha dukha di of my spouse my children that is okay so me thanks i don't know whether it is nice but still th- suppose you like it how nice so me i know my husband is happy or not happy when i cook i sometimes he doesn't tell so i will know <laughs> or when i bring the gift whether wife is happy with it or not i will not know but now if i this facility is there i will know so it looks nice <laughs> And I tell you, uh, sometimes this person is hiding, <laughs> and you think that he is happy, and you are happy to think that he is happy. <laughs> really, he is unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> and you imagine, 
so one or two you can manage but imagine you will be knowing the sukha dukha of all the jivas and all the jivas means what clear insect <laughs> that also you will be knowing sukha dukha to koi aaj kal sukha to nahi hai a victim not we are not getting victim so koi mosquito wala aate hai so means koi blood sweet blood wale bhi aate nahi <laughs> so you imagine what will be you will go crazy <coughs> that will happen so and moreover it is not our experience whether it is desirable or undesirable we don't have to think it is not our experience and it will be unavoidable if there is only one sakshi then the elimination of all sukha dukha objectification of all sukha dukha will be there it is not there लोके तथा अनुभवा सिंस देर इज नो सच एक्सपीरियंस अनुभवा मीन्स एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दैट मैनर इन द वर्ल्ड लोके मीन्स इन द वर्ल्ड तथा अनुभवा अनुभव मीन्स अभाव से अनुभव अनुभव से अभाव बिकॉज ऑफ द एबसेंस ऑफ सच एक्सपीरियंस अनेके साक्षिण अभ्युपगंतव्यम दे फॉर वाट यू टू एक्सेप्ट देर आर मेनी विटनेसेस in this manner it should be accepted and suppose somebody said that sakshi if it is one then there will be problem but sakshi are many then also how problem will be solved he says sakshinah anekatva pakshe yathana doshah tatha uttam eva prat if in the view of sakshi being many how there will not be any problem that is already told by us how it was told in the previous in the previous sentence it was told that how it will not not a problem yasya hi sakshina yadanta karana upadi tadanta karana gata eva dharma ha tena sakshina vishayi kriyare na anyo upadi gata so it will be very good everybody carries his own lunch box so <laughs> is like that everybody will be having one one sakshi so that sakshi will illumine the other sukha dukha so you are you have you are a sakshi you will illumine your sukha dukha i will illumine my sukha dukha no problem so in that there will not be any problem anubhava virodha will not be there means i know my sukha dukha only i know the sukha dukha happening in my mind only and you know sukha dukha happening in your mind only that type of situation will be explainable when when you accept that there are many sakshi i am one sakshi you are under sakshi you are under sakshi then everything samichinam everything will be all right tatha cha aneka sakshi nam ekena brahmana ekyam na yujyate eva and thus sakshi have to be many and thus aneka sakshi nam of many sakshi ekena brahmana with one brahma ekyam na yujyate ekyam is not tenable not logical so what is the essence of what puro pakshi said for two three days how <laughs> is essence is this much that sakshi has to be many because we do not have experience of illumining knowing the sukha dukha of anantakrana no sakshi seems to know sukha dukha of anantakrana and therefore sakshi is are many and many sakshi cannot have oneness with one brahma that is the essence for that siddhant is giving the answer vishaya vishayaka akshepanam samadhanani so so far akshepa only happen objection objections objections like in the court first you know one party the prosecutor will give and then afterwards the defender will give the argument so now defender is giving the argument or either way whatever defender gives and then prosecutor विषय विषय का आक्षेपाणाम समाधानानी समाधानी मी द आंसर्स टू द ऑब्जेक्शंस विषय का रिगार्डिंग विषय द आंसर्स रिगार्डिंग द ऑब्जेक्शंस द आंसर्स टू द ऑब्जेक्शंस रिगार्डिंग द सब्जेक्ट मैटर अच्छा एंड सिद्धांत दिस इज आई हैव टू क्लेरिफाई सो मेनी थिंग्स सो स्लोली स्लोली आई विल स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल that there is no sakshi other than jiva that point he purapakshi has raised only a little bit he raised but siddhanti is going to elaborate that that there is something called sakshi 
and that Sakshi Swarupam is established. He says, Yaduktam Jeevaha Ragadvesha Diklesha Vishishtaha Tadrahitaha Cha Brahma Tasma Tayoho Jeeva Brahmana Ike Rupaha Vishaya Granthasya Nasidhye Iti Yadhyapi Tad Satyameva Tathapi Ragadi Vyukta Sakshinaha Brahmana Ike Vyujate First of all, his presence is main stand in Greek. Outline, you know, before giving the details, he is, he is drawing the boundaries of his discussion. So, he is giving the outline of what he is going to say. He said, Yaduktam, but was told, Jivaha, who is Ragad Dveshadi Klesha Vishishtaha. So, Jiva, who is endowed with the afflicting points, afflicting factors such as likes, dislikes, then Adi is what? Abhinivesha. Huh? Abhinivesha, Avidya, Asmita. Asmita. So, Avidya, Asmita, Raga, Dvesha and Abhinivesha. This Pancha Klesha Vishishta is Jiva. And Brahman is what? Tadrahitaha, Tadrahitam cha Brahma. Brahman is free from that Pancha Klesha. Tasma, Tayoho Jiva Brahmanaho, Brahmanaho Eike Rupa Vishayaha, Grathasyana Siddhi. Therefore, the subject matter of this text in the form of oneness between that jiva, those jiva and brahma, is not established, would not be established. Iti yadhyapi tat satyam eva. Siddhanti is telling, even though <coughs> this is true, jiva as jiva cannot be equated to brahman. Tathapi ragadi vyukta sakshinaha brahmana ikyam yujyate. But sakshi which is free from ragadi, of that Sakshi, oneness with Brahma, Yujyate Eva, is definitely tenable. Then somebody may say, Nacha Kartrutva Bhoktrutva Adi Dharma Vishishta Jeeva Dhanya Sakshi Vandya Sunu Samatvat Nasti Iti Vachyam. That is the main one of the objections Puro Pakshi has raised. He said there is no Sakshi other than Jeeva. That, <clears throat> that is a, restated by Siddhartha. He says, <clears throat> Nacha Vachyam. This should not be so excited. What? Kartrutva Bhoktrutvadi Dharma Vishishtad Vishishta Jivad Anya Sakshi Nasti. There is no Sakshi witness other than the Jiva who is Vishishta endowed with Dharma, the quality such as Kartrutvam, doership, Bhoktrutvam, the experiencership, Adi Pramatrutvam. Means other than the karta, bhokta, jiva, there is no sakshi at all. Like what? Vandhya, sunu, samatva. <clears throat> that sakshi is like the son of a woman who has never delivered a child. Vandhya, sunu. Sunu means son. Vandhya, sunu, samatva. So, sakshi is like Vandhya's putra. Just as Vandhya putra does not exist, similarly sakshi does not exist. Iti na vachyam. This type of thing we should not say. Why? Upahitasya sakshitva. This is Sangravakya. Because Chaitanyam which is upahita, which is adjuncted, is sakshi. He is witness. So what is sakshi? Antakkarana upahitam chaitanyam sakshi. There is some sakshi which is Having antakaranam as upadhi, not visheshana, not the adjective. So, upahitasya means upahitasya chaitanyasya sakshitva sakshi nasti iti navachya. There is something called sakshi, and what is that? Consciousness adjuncted by or adjuncted with antakaranam is sakshi. More about this, we will see. Om Purna Madha Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudachyate Purna Sthya Purna Madha Ya Purna Meva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Hari